Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder guys. Today I'm going to be playing at the T-72B. This is a rank 6 battle rating 9.7 MBT for Russia. We have a 125mm cannon, a 12.7mm commander machine gun and a 7.62 coaxial as well. This is a heavily, heavily armoured main battle tank for Russia. And it's pretty fast as well at 36 miles an hour. The only drawback I can really see with this tank at the moment is the fact that it doesn't have thermals. Not even in the commander view. And I have checked it. It might be a PlayStation bug similar to how the CV TML is working at the moment for um, PlayStation. But I very much doubt it. This has no thermals at 9.7. So... Although it is very, very heavily armoured, you might be in for a nasty surprise. So let's quickly switch and have a look at its armour. So Germany, um, rank 7, because we're going to get up tiered, you know we are. Leopard 2A5, DM33 shells, and let's increase the range. No, actually, let's, let's leave it at 500, let's leave it at 500 metres. So... Upper Glacis, pretty solid. Oh, yeah, usual weak spot right where the driver sits. Straight through. Okay, let's come down here. So this is okay. Lower Glacis, yeah, lower Glacis is going to be the same problem. So the two usual weak spots you will expect with these sort of tanks. Lower Glacis and driver's optics. Now let's have a look at the turret. Turret's pretty good. What about the command? Yeah, commander's cupola is going to go straight through because it's very flat there. But that's only one crewman. Around the breach is obviously another problem area. But it looks okay from the side. Okay, so there's some composite there, but it will go through that. Yeah. But slightly over a bit more, and it won't. Sides of the tank, no, there's no composite here. Back of the tank, no composite. Back of the turret, no composite. And I'll show you in the x-ray. So we have these era plates here, which are 5mm against kinetic, 370 against um, chemical energy weapons, which is really good. So anyone's firing heat or missiles. And there's the composite armour underneath the era armor it's it's good it will stop most but as i say up here the driver is always going to get it and it's going to go straight through you can see the layers of it as well there we go up here on the turret you can see we've got a little position here this is where it went through before and cut straight through but as you see where these blocks start slash finish um it won't be penned so that's pretty decent there but along the sides here there's absolutely no composite and you've got this big carousel here of ammunition so you're going to have to limit how much ammo you carry and as i say no armor at the back except for what is only there on the turret so this is going to be a pretty decent hold down tank it's fast enough to get you into position quickly enough but i don't know if you get out flanked you're pretty much going to die and the fact that this is at 9.7 without any um thermal optics is going to be a real issue so this is what I've basically done. Parts, extinguishers, night vision, laser rangefinder, missiles, smoke, crew replacement, and the 3B M42 Rand. So you start off with the 3B M22, which is your default, and it's pretty decent. 425 meters at 10 meters range and 415 at 500 meters on flat armor, which is pretty decent. It slopes off, obviously, as you start going into the angles. But I'm going to be using the 3B M42. It's a lot more higher pen um, round. 620 silver a shot. But that's really not going to be a problem. And instead of using heat FS. Which is pretty decent at 550mm. I'm just going to be using my missiles. For a sort of default heat FS. 700mm with a missile. And you also got the opportunity as well. For shooting down helicopters that. You know, coming a little bit too close. 3.11 miles. So anything within that range, you can pretty much take it out of the sky pretty easily. So 
sit back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay, guys. Two. Okay, guys, welcome to Finland. I'm not actually facing the Swedish. They're on my team. Woo! <laughs> I haven't got to face the might of them really quick, OP little tanks. But I do have to face the might of the Germans with thermal. And me not having it makes a disadvantage that I don't like, especially at 9 7. But sneak round, try and get in the donut if we can. However, that's usually easier said than done. You're going to have to be very careful poking around here. Sneaky, sneaky, does it? Shit. Back up, back up. Just caught a glimpse of one, but I don't know where he went. Damn. <laughs> Come on. Slightly quick on the reload there. one. Bloody hell. <laughs> Told you that armour would come in handy. That armour is pretty solid on the front of this tank. Okay, now we've got into the donut. We should be able to do some real damage. Providing no one comes in behind us. If that guy over there in the CM11 watches our back, we should be okay. Oh, hang on. That sounds close. Okay, do track me. Still alive. Where's the guy that just capped that then? Oh my god, do not. Do not. Do not do that with that poxy plane. Gonna have to just chill for a minute, I think. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. Okay, guys, welcome to Caburn. It's not a very big game. Not a big game at all. So I'm gonna make my way around to where it's C is, but I'm not going to see itself. I'm gonna try and take up a nice position where I can try and get a few easy kills. Well, that's usually easier said than done. And then move on from there and see what we're going to do. Hopefully this guy isn't going to block me. Come on dude, I want to get through. Come on, come on. That seems alright. Nope. Got his track and transmission. Oh, sucks to be you. <laughs> Even a 2A5 couldn't pen me. That is pretty good armour. Wow. I'm not sure where he shot me, but it didn't work. I think that was another turret shot, to be honest. Oh, damn. It's on the cap. Oh, I don't want to do this. It's going to get me killed. I'm going to be dead. I'm going to cry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Critted him. Got his loader. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. This guy is going to kill me on the other side if this T-80 doesn't pull his finger out. 
I'm just going to have to watch. I'm not going to smoke it at. Because, well, then I'm blind myself, so. Oh, he's got him. It's a 2A4, and I've still got 18 seconds. Oh. <laughs> it was a 2A5 there as well. Yep, yeah, lower glacier shot. See, every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> I think you dropped something. I think you dropped something. <laughs> that looked pretty good as he fucking crashed into the ground and dropped his flares. <laughs> so I have got my second tank out. So I did have a backup for it. Look at this guy in the Abrams. Oh. American tanks with no armour. No balls either. <laughs> no, I, I completely understand why he's doing that. I'd be cautious as well. But we're going to let this guy lead the way. We're going to let him be our pathfinder. Just in case there's anyone around that side there. Seems to be okay. He hasn't blown up. I haven't blown up. I definitely think there's one up here though on the left. Okay, let him go over there. I'm gonna go over this way. Oh, 2A5. Hang on. No, can't see that guy. I think. There's one behind us. I don't really want to use that T-64 as bait. Oh, here we go, might get another kill. Still a 2A5 around somewhere. I'm not going to cap this at the moment. I don't want to leave myself vulnerable to being flanked. <clears throat> so we're going to leave it neutral and that way hopefully it should entice them in. And I can pick up a few more. I'm just really shocked and surprised, happily shocked and surprised at how strong the armour is on this tank. Because the T-62A, well, <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that is a strong tank. Not in the slightest. I've killed that pretty easily with this um, DM-23 straight through the upper glacis many a time. Let's just chill here for a minute. Okay, that's friendly. Chill here for a minute. See if anything comes along. If it doesn't, I'm going to push forward and see if I can't pick up another kill or two. Holy shit. Wow. The armour on this is absolutely phenomenal. A guy over here just got killed. So I was looking over there for the 2A5. And then boom. Off the upper glacis. And it didn't even scratch the paintwork. <laughs> that is impressive armour. Now he's dropping artillery. Because he's out of options. Yeah I would have panicked as well if I had shot a. T-72B and it just bounced off. I'm not sure what shot me, but I'm assuming it was something with a 120mm cannon. Yeah, he's not going to be fooled into coming round here, is he? 
And there's one flashing up behind. Should I just be ballsy and go for it? I think I should. I'm supposed to be testing the armour really, aren't I? <laughs> That's the whole point of the video. See how strong, how good this tank really is. Kind of see tracks coming around this way. You can hear him around here. Yeah, he's up there. gonna be sketchy <laughs> probably a good idea if you back up now if he's smart while I'm trying to get through this which I don't think I can he'd actually jump off the side I'm stuck I'm stuck Yeah, I, I can't get through that. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, this is going to be one of them fucking standoff moments where neither side can win. He's too scared to come and face me because he hasn't got the armor. And I just don't want to get stuck. Where was that? Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, because I was looking backwards. He must have been pinging me like furious. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the hangar. So, I am very pleased to say this tank is phenomenal. It may lack thermals at 9.7, but holy crap. The armor on this is absolutely amazing. If you've played the T-72A, and I would assume that most have, you will know that it is very easily killed. You know, whether you're driving it or you're facing against the A variant of the T-72, it is a very easy tank to kill. The turret's pretty tough, to be fair, but the upper glacis is like wet paper. This, however, the T-72B is just amazing. The shots that I was bouncing was unreal. I can't believe I even survived that side shot. I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to do there. He double D tracked me, took out the engine and, you know, he had me dead to rights. He should have been able to kill me right there and then. But I was just able and just quick enough to get the turret up the, the cannon and put those two shots in him and kill him. So I was lucky there. Kind of screwed up with the 2A5, but I got a bit um, too focused on that 2K that took a shot at me. And I was trying to get my fifth kill there. And I really should have been paying more attention to my surroundings rather than him. But I didn't want to get shot in the back because I was trying to get away from the area and get some um, distance between me and him. But the, even though I was killed, it doesn't matter. This tank is absolutely phenomenal. If you're grinding this out now, you're in for a real treat. If you aren't grinding it out, you should be. It is really good fun. And I look forward to playing this, you know, a little bit more. Once I get through some more of the Swedish tech tree and grind out some of the other um, nations' vehicles that have been added to update 1.97. So, guys, if you are new to the channel and you have enjoyed today's gameplay, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do, guys, hit the notification bell for updates on future content. Also, a thumbs up on the video is really appreciated. It does help the channel. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon. So have fun.